All right, so in this video, we're going to be doing some baseball, which is not something I've done on this channel um, yet. I've ripped a little bit, but honestly, I'm a super noob. Uh, but I figured I'd have some fun with this since it's a new set that just came out, and I bought a couple of these from Fanatics. If you guys are interested in buying one of these, uh, check the link in the description. I'm actually going to be opening one of the boxes, so I actually ripped two, uh, but I'm only going to be opening one of them in the video because this one is empty. And I'm going to show you guys just how minimal the hits were from this one box uh so this was one of the hits we got uh the water water franco and this is the um just the base rookie and then i did get this uh oversized like jumbo card or whatever on top up here uh this is uh, a juan soto and you can see right there it's the big dog right there i didn't get an auto in this one i actually ended up getting this patch not game worn unfortunately i don't think yeah, not from any event. Um, no auto. So, yeah, it's kind of high risk because Buck 30 uh, from um, Fanatic's site, I I can link them to eBay. It will be like 110 at least, uh, so a better price. But, yeah, dude, no guaranteed auto, so that's like a bummer. Anyway, this is the only parallel that I got to, unfortunately. So Matt Chapman, Oakland, and then to 673 on that. That's the only um, fancy looking card I got in here. This is not supposed to be a fancy looking set. It's supposed to be a nod to the heritage of this one's seven to 73. And so there's a lot of uh, stylings to the older uh, style of be uh, baseball cards, which I think is cool. I, I like the concept of this set. The other thing is all the crazy Easter eggs in this set. Now, this is actually the only cards that I got that are short prints. And the reason why you know is because all of the numbers back here are numbered over 400. So anything over 400 to 500 is short print. Um, and then also, if you get something that has like a variation right here, it will actually say a word right here. So it will say color or it will say, I think, name and some other things literally written right here. Uh, that is your indicator that it's something different. Um, as for this parallel guy right here, you can see it says refractor right there. So anyway, uh, right here would be the names. I'm going to be trying to figure it out because honestly, 100%, I don't know baseball at all. So I couldn't tell you any of these short prints, if they're any good or not, because I just don't know any of their names. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the way it goes. Also, um, they do have some flip stocks as well. So some of them that are not um, waxy on the top and they're, it's like cardboard on the front and then waxy on the back. So those ones are super rare as well, but uh, harder to, to figure out. Anyway, this is a very interesting set in my opinion. Not one that I'm overly comfortable with because again, I don't know anything about baseball, but I love the concept of what they're offering, just the heritage line. And then just so, something a little bit fun. And actually I did rip last year's product. Um, I never posted the videos, but I had a couple of megas and, and some uh, some blasters from last year that I opened. But this is a hobby at 130. And the hobby, again, you have the option of getting that, um, that relic or the auto. So that's not too exciting that you can get one or the other, unfortunately. Also, just some other stuff on the bottom, if you could see here. They don't have any of the the odds and stuff uh, down here. It's actually inside. But yeah, man, this is it. Baseball Heritage, bring back 73 tops design. And that is uh, what we're working with here. So right off the rip, I'm going to go ahead and lower this down. It looks like we got a Willie Mays. That's cool. And it's like a mock. Well, yeah, it's like an auto, but it's like a postcard sort of thing. So different than the previous one, because this one's actually bigger. Um, and I think from what I read that this one's actually more rare than something like this, but I don't even know. This looks like a postcard. Pretty cool though, uh, nonetheless. And I'll put that aside. And then 20, the 24 packs or some, something like that. 500 cards, collect all. I think there's 24 packs. So if you go down deep, two, four, six, yeah. So 24 packs. We're gonna just start ripping and then see what we can find. Oh yeah, before I do that though, there is the uh, the payouts or the payouts, the uh, base parallels variations, black borders one to ninety six, flip stocks one in a thousand almost, short prints one in three, um, black border short prints ninety six, high number flip stocks, chrome one in a hundred, chrome refractors one seventy five, and so on. So. 
yeah, pretty crazy. I actually looked this up on eBay, or I'm not eBay, on YouTube, just to, to take a look and see what people did. And one channel had opened a box of these and it got purple parallels in every single pack. I was like, bro, like, how did he do that? I guess it was a special thing. One in, a, one in every three boxes or so has that. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty insane. But just looking at the packs and looking at the cards, they don't look anything fancy. They just look like regular old fashioned style of cards but i'm gonna have to look over all of these front and back so you guys can see them front and back so that's a short print right there because it's over uh 400 and again if, if you guys actually know some of these details um from this set help me out and leave a comment if you see anything really good because i honestly am super noob status uh at any of this stuff so just throwing that out there uh always welcome for feedback and anything that's helpful to let me know what is going on since again i, I mean i basketball cards is primary is my my favorite thing and then from there um football has been super fun but uh but yeah this is 100 percent out, out of my realm of uh what i think i should be doing but at the same time i'm like it's kind of fun because it's a new set and learning everything about a set is pretty awesome there is a Wander Franco um, New Age Performer. So that's kind of cool. I didn't get this one last time. So really cool. Got a different Wander Franco this time. I'll take that. I'll put that right over here. Nice. New Age Performers, huh? That is very interesting. And then we did get a couple. We got um, Ronald uh, Acuna Jr., if that's how you say his name. I recognize that guy. I have ripped a lot of Bowman and stuff, um, but I haven't done it on the channel. So for those wondering, um, you know, I have all the recordings. I just never posted yet as I don't really kind of know what I'm doing. So that is that. And this one's a cool one. I'm going to put this one over the side. And then any of them that look like a sort of a parallel sort of thing like this has the baseball down here. I'm going to try to remember to put them aside as well just to keep it interesting and, and just to rehash some of the stuff I'm, I'm looking at here uh, because again it's again super confusing uh, there's a rookie right here so maybe i'll move these over put rookies here another rookie and then there's uh kettle martin that guy's supposed to be good right and then i don't know i feel like i should probably be looking over the rookies front and back too but i'd love to see some sort of a variation or a parallel or, or something on these the last time i looked through all of them and i didn't get anything um so yeah again we're looking for some either name or color or something like that uh, right in that location and then it will let us know if we um, hit, hit a short like a, a I'm not i'm not saying short print it's a uh, variation or something like that so that one's an interesting one all time a uh, shutout leader. I've never seen that one. Pretty cool. So the first box was pretty weak, dude. I mean, for me, I felt like it was super weak. I did get a, a Wander Franco, but um, it felt like a really weird box, not anything super exciting. So this is a weird set, though. I feel like I got to look it over twice. And uh, it's like extra. It's like it's like um, thrifting in the thrift store. That's what this reminds me of. Like just looking over every little detail of every card to make sure I'm going to do it this way. Maybe this time to make sure you're not missing something um, in a variation of sorts. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to miss a good variation. But um, yeah, I don't know the proper way to, to do this because what is Alexa? Stop. Alexa, stop. Yo, Alexa just started telling us about organisms. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. She does control my lights in my room, so sometimes they just randomly shut off. If uh, somebody's making a command from another room. Uh, that's hilarious. There's a rookie right there. 32. So yeah, I, this is like one of those things where I'm just like, huh, this is interesting. But I don't quite understand it. And I, I want to understand it, and I want to uh, just be on the inside, but but it's so difficult because I really just don't, uh, 
don't understand the hobby that well. I mean, the baseball side of it. I'm just a little bit, I've never played baseball, never had a, we don't have a pro baseball team in, in Oregon. So I blame that partly on that. It's not really something to blame it on, but I'll use whatever I can. Um, I really want to see a short print though. I want to see, or something that signifies a variation. I've seen a lot of variations on other things, but different, just different sets. But on all of the, the boxes I opened from 2021, I didn't see any. Like, it was weird. And maybe they're just super, super rare. That's why it's so difficult uh, to find. But, um, man, I'm still going to grind through it and see what we can do. There's a trout. That's fun. Boyhood photo stars. That one's rad. I See, at least I'm seeing a couple names I recognize which very, very limited to, I know Juan or Franco, I know Trout, and I know that uh, those ones would be welcome any any day of the week. I'm gonna sleep this one just because it's awesome. Boyhood photos of stars. It's kind of a little bit awkward having a card of a kid, but it is a superstar, Mr. Trout. All right, so. There's Mr. Trout back there. And we're going to keep on going. I only have one short print so far. And I do want to see an auto. Like, I, I really want to see an auto. I don't want to see a... Uh, I don't want to see a patch. That would uh, be rad if we can actually get... There's Mr. Trout again. And... This uh, this one has a couple autos, one or this one has a couple variations. If it doesn't say his name and it says something else, um, it's a pretty good one. It's worth a couple hundred bucks. But yeah, that's just the wild thing about it. It's like if it doesn't say his name, it can actually be worth something. It's like whatever random nicknames they have. Um, I guess there's not a Franco nickname one for those wondering. There's a home run leads leaders. That one's cool. Hoyt Park and company. I'm just trying to hurry through these. By hurry, look at this. These ones are weird too. Flashback to 73. NASA, NASA launches Skylab. Kind of funny. Interesting little additions, additions too. Uh, but it's no, no um, nothing fancy yet. I do, like, I'm going to do this, and then I don't know which I'm going to post first, but I have Sapphire Chrome Baseball, and it's like, it feels like, oh, here we, I think we have the patch guy, or whatever it is, hopefully it's an, an auto, it's feeling, it's looking thick though, so probably not an auto, sadness, and we have, ah, you gotta be kidding me, Clubhouse Collection, that stinks, man. This is the only downside for sure, is that it's it's like really high risk because you're you're really not getting anything. It's all perceived potential value on a lot of it, which is I mean that's cards to a T, right? So it's not like anything new that we're seeing here with that. It's just a bummer because you don't really have that much of a chance to get an auto because a box is at hundred and thirty and. Uh, and that's it. That's all she wrote. No auto. Who knows, though? I did see the other dude's video, and he did get an auto and one of these. But he had a god box or something, man. Because he, he had basically every one of these packs had a, a purple parallel, which is like a chrome shiny dude. Makes you feel like you got something good. But, um, but yeah, no luck here. These are all... I mean, I like the idea of the concept, though, because this is all like old school feeling cards which is exactly the point obviously we got a matt edward harvey short print and still not seeing any any fancy um parallels or anything yet or any um I keep saying parallels but variations and that's that's half the box ladies and gents so let's get down to the nitty-gritty here we got a couple 12 packs left or something trying to try to make it quick but at the same time, I'm trying to look at all the cards so I don't have to triple check myself later. There's uh, Jose Abreu. Gary. 
And that one's kind of a cool new age performer. And then for the backs again, so three Sanchez. There's no things back here. I wonder how they would grade these things. Cause I mean, this is like such a weird type of card, really rough edges. It's like a, on the sneaker equivalent would be like a raw edge on a pair of sneakers. It's not something that would be easily like uh, to, yeah, to judge. There's another rookie, another rookie, another rookie. It's three rookies in a row in that one. That was cool. Adrian, that dude, Williams. has a short print there. It's a big boy. He can probably smack that. Evil Longoria. No, oh, Evan, that's... He was Evil Longoria's brother. Just kidding. All right. Got some stuff left here. Try to get at least one parallel. Haven't got nothing, dudes. All right. We got a rookie. Rookie pitchers. So the, um, what was the other one that I ripped? I ripped Chrome. Not Chrome, Bowman. Um, and I got a lot of Bowman firsts from that. And I got a Spencer Torkelson, or whatever that dude's name is. I got one of those guys to like 49, which was pretty decent. And uh, I got a couple other dudes, but there's Judge right there. But yeah, nothing, uh, nothing like, I mean, I think that that's the fun of the set is that nothing yet, maybe when the dudes turn out, really really good and turn into super mega stars and maybe they'll be good but it was like austin martin and a bunch of other random people but no um no variations yet so i'm hoping i can find something here the variation land nothing so far yikes semen huh that's a really on the nose <laughs> Hopefully none of them does, but anyway. Matt Chapman. Tucker. Good old Tucker. Andy. That's a short print rookie. And India. And this dude is Andy, and he is a number 441. So anything again above 400 is supposed to be short print. Um... If I'm collecting them and putting them aside and it's not, then you guys can laugh at me because not 100%, not 100% sure why. <laughs> That's just what I've been told. And when I was looking up stuff, it looked like some of the cards are worth a little bit more when they were short prints. So not a ton, but um, depends on who you got, obviously, which is the same as any other thing that you're ripping that one's up then and now so the inserts are kind of interesting but kind of ho-hum at the same time i'm really just looking right here again trying to find a variation of sorts um i really want to get like more of a chrome sort of thing but again it doesn't look like those are guaranteed one per box either i thought they were yeah, but based on what i was reading it doesn't look like it it was the case so there's tatus right there i wonder if this is a um, that's probably his, his um, base, but I'll put it aside just in case. Again, because I'm like not 100% sure. I'm like, well, maybe there's something else that signifies that these are awesome cards. But so far, the things that are the telltales are telling me these are just base cards. <laughs> so there's that. But we have six left, and we got the Wanda Franco um, New Age Performer, which I'm assuming is not as good as a base, but... Still fun, at least we got something. And Louise and Robbie Ray. Nick. Rowdy. See, that what seems like that would be a uh, a variation or something because his name's Rowdy, but maybe that's really his actual name, Rowdy? If so, kudos to him for having a super cool name. But, um... Four left and no shiny cards. An all around fairly boring uh, set to rip. 
unless you probably know everything about baseball, which is the intent of the uh, the product. So there's a Cronenworth. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm the wrong person to judge, which I 100% understand. But it would be I mean oh there's another short print I guess Joe Kelly. Wade and then yeah I just I'm looking for special and I'm not seeing it on any of the cards. It hurts my feelings, man. Now I got a lot of bulk. But this is one of those things where I'm like, I gotta look and find more information about it. Cause some of this stuff is, this guy kind of looks like me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Uh, what I was saying is some of the stuff, like the flip stocks, it's just a touch thing. Like you wouldn't know, it doesn't tell, tell you that it's short print or anything like that. It doesn't say flip stock or anything. It's just the literal feel of the, uh, of the card. I don't know if those older ones are kind of interesting, but, um, yeah, that's the only way you would know, I guess. And for, as for rookies, it's not like basketball or football where you're chasing two or three really good ones. There's one, there's one Wander Franco, that's it. And then everybody else from what I've been told, and at least, I mean, it's consistent from super baseball heads is that it, you, there's one real good rookie and that's it for the year and yeah that one feels weird but it's tricking me man it's tricking me making me feel like i got something and no parallel so that um that stings a little bit i'm not gonna lie so far all base lots of uh l's here and two cards and then no silver and look at that none that, that really is weird. I would have expected it from another box, but, and just if, if anybody's keeping track, this is not a cheap rip. I mean, these are buck 30 a pop. And so that is why this is, there's another one right there. Yeah, this is a, a expensive rip for not getting too much action right there. So in summary, this is what we're looking at here. We got a couple, um, one, two, three, four, five, so six, six. So these are the, the numbers that we got right here on the back for the short prints. If any of those guys are good, I don't know, leave a comment, let me know. I mean, I can look at their stats here. See how good they are, I'll be the judge. And then some rooks, but, uh, you know, I'm not sure, again, if any of these are really worth a look, but that is a look at the rookies. Maybe in five years from now, I'll come back and go, that one guy, I got to go find him again. I saw him on my video. Uh, and then for the inserts, they're kind of cool, but kind of also very plain Jane, which is kind of the, you know, the way it's supposed to be, but... There we go here. What do you guys think, though, about Heritage? My dog's trying to get in the room. See, this is what happens when I record without her. Um, my pug, Chloe, has to be here. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the product. And from the two boxes, this is the total of what we got, which is somewhat painful. Just the base, base, short print, short print, short print, short print. Short print, short print, short print. The one silver card, the one shiny guide is 679 worth like $4. And then we got the trout, which is pretty cool. The Franco, which is kind of cool. And then these two duds right here, only because I don't know if they're good or not, but the fact that they're in the dot autos is, is a pain. And we only got one of these out of two boxes, so ouch. But um, what do you guys think about Heritage, though? I think I'm going to stay away for now, unless, I mean... It goes on sale or I have like credit or something or I get it. Yeah, under retail is good. But that was a hobby box, man. Two hobby boxes were the hits. And um, that's, uh, you know, I don't know about baseball enough and maybe I should stick away, but it's fun. It's kind of fun. So uh, I'll be doing some Chrome, there's some Sapphire Chrome on the channel too. I think that's a little bit more of my level of like shining cards. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys.